My name's Simon O'Rourke and I run a tree carving business, so I do large scale wood sculpture. Um, anything covering anything from people to animals to rustic furniture, anything like that. So yeah. It was a bit of a, a roundabout way that, that I got into doing this. I graduated from the illustration degree at Newey as as it was then and um, uh, struggled to find work as an illustrator and it's quite difficult to get into illustration um, but uh, I wanted to get some work in the meantime and ended up doing tree surgery uh, so I, I learned how to use the chainsaws in that I learned a lot about the trees and the wood and the way it works and then I saw somebody carving and saw the opportunity to actually be able to use my degree um, and uh, sometimes these things happen in ways that we don't expect <laughs> so uh, I ended up using my degree um, to do sculpture rather than to do 3D, uh, 2D illustration having the illustration background has helped me an awful lot with communicating with customers um, so I can produce a, a detailed sketch or drawing of what I intend to do for the customer and that's actually um, enabled me to get more jobs than if I hadn't been able to draw. Um, I actually, yeah, having that background has been great. And I've been able to bring the uh, illustration side of it into the actual jobs I'm doing as well. Um, I've collaborated with schools uh, and the school children have written a story and I've illustrated it with the carvings as a, as a sculpture trail. I love the fact that I'm doing something with my degree. I love the fact that I'm doing something that I enjoy as well. Um, uh, I think the thing I enjoy most about it is that I'm, uh, I'm combining my love of being sort of outdoors and using power tools <laughs> with my illustration and art side of things. Um, as uh, yeah, I'm <laughs> not ashamed to say it's a, a case of big boys toys really with uh, <laughs> chainsaws and power tools. Um, but it's great fun and um, it's nice to meet different people, it's the variation of what I'm doing is great, I'm not doing the same thing all the time and it's, uh, it's really good fun. Running my own business has been uh, uh, interesting, <laughs> um, there's been a lot of ups and downs, I, um, being an artist I didn't find it easy on the organisation side of things, That's, uh, it's not something that comes naturally to me. But the key thing I found was involving other people, asking for help, um, not being afraid to pay out to have somebody help you because uh, the amount of time it takes for me to do my own books, um, I could be earning twice as much as paying somebody doing carving work. So um, it, it swings and roundabouts, but asking for help is the biggest thing, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> I do have plans for the future for the business, um, with it being fo focused around me and my own work, um, it's more difficult to expand in terms of employees, um, but there's all sorts of different routes we can take. I'm going to start producing um, uh, master carvings for um, a friend of mine who does casts, and we're going to do some reproductions that way. Um, I'm going to get into doing... Um, possibly get into being an agent for sculptors um, and actually getting the work for other chainsaw sculptors as well. And um, the other side of it is I'd really like somebody be, to be able to carry on the business after I can't carve anymore, so I'd like to take on an apprentice um, at some point. I need the uh, groundwork in place before I do that though.